I shot him six times. What's going on, horror fanatics? Welcome to I Shot Him Six Times YouTube Horror Movie Channel. As you know, I'm your host and creator of the channel, Marcus. If you have not done so already, please shoot this video a like. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm a ton. As well as if you're a new viewer to this channel, please shoot that subscribe button as well as that notification icon so you get all the latest content updates to the channel. I will warn you ahead of time, if you have not watched Scream 6 yet, or have been keeping up with the spoilers, or both for that matter, this video may not be for you as this will contain spoilers for Scream 6. Okay everyone, so let's get into it. So if you have been a subscriber to this channel over the last few months, or if you have been a viewer who has unfortunately not subscribed to this channel yet, please shoot that subscribe button, it definitely helps out a ton. But, if you have been keeping up with my content over the last few months, especially leading into Scream 6, then you know by now that I had a theory that Charlie Walker, one half of our Ghostface killers from Scream 4, could potentially be alive and could have been revealed to be one of the Ghostface killers in Scream 6. Now, obviously, we did not get that as a reveal in Scream 6. We did not get any past characters from either of the installments revealed to be a Ghostface killer in Scream 6. However, a couple hours ago, I was digging through my Instagram messages and I ran across a message from fellow subscriber and fellow Charlie is a live believer, Ryan Stewart. And I seen that he left me a few messages from last Wednesday. And sometimes it is hard for me to get to my messages, guys. You know, I'm with work and trying to keep up with all content or trying to, you know, find anything I can find. It is, it can be difficult. But anyway, let's get back to the conversation. I was rubbaging through my messages and I ran across Ryan's messages and he had sent me a clip from Scream 6 of the scene where Samantha is standing outside of her apartment building and she takes her first call from Ghostface. And then you see this guy walking from around the corner that Samantha was thinking was Ghostface but actually turned out to be a regular civilian who was on his cell phone walking past her. However, if you get a real good look at this civilian, this is a very familiar face within the Scream franchise. I have the clips here. I also have a clip of Roy Calkin, the actor who portrays Char Charlie Walker in Scream 4, signing autographs last year outside in the freezing cold, I wouldn't believe, in New York City because that's where he's from. And I also have some still shots from that scene that I collected after going back and rewatching that scene that further confirms, especially in my opinion, that this is in fact Charlie Walker walking past Samantha Carpenter and Tara Carpenter. Okay, so before I share my overall thoughts on these clips and these still shots that I provided you guys, I do want to say thank you to Ryan Stewart for sending me that message and for sending me these clips. I greatly appreciate it. Not going to even lie. That scene with, you know, the fella who I now believe to be Roy Calkin as Charlie Walker definitely flew over my head to really zoom in and see if I can get a clear shot, a clear look at that person. I just thought that that was like, you know, Radio Silence's decoy for Sam Mantha thinking that that was Ghostface running towards him in that scene, what have you. So again, thank you so much, man. I greatly appreciate it. Now, let's talk about these clips and this still shot that I provided you guys of what I now to believe to be Roy Calkin as Charlie Walker in this scene. Now, the reason why I do believe it to be Roy Calkin as Charlie Walker in this scene, and the reason why I put it that way is because I am very well aware that even if this is Roy Calkin, like I believe it to be, he could very well be playing an entirely different role as just a New York City civilian walking past the Carpenter Sisters. I understand that. However, the reason why I don't believe that is just the case is because 
the special cameo originally I thought hey this could have been the special cameo you know them showing you know Roy Calkin walking past the Carpenter sisters what have you but radio silence actually confirmed that comedian Tim Robinson was the special cameo that was being hyped up leading into the film as he is one of Quinn's boyfriends and the one that you hear in the background he was off camera when Samantha asks is that Paul in the room with Quinn he says who the fuck is Paul so again Tim Robinson the comedian is the special cameo that was being hyped up for Scream 6 leading into the film which is why I don't believe Roy Calkin in this scene to just be a special cameo or just you know nothing at all I believe that he is in this scene for a reason for two reasons actually one to confirm that Charlie Walker is alive and very very well as I've stated here on this channel for months leading into this film but in my opinion what this also confirms is that not only is there an even deeper plan at works leading into Scream 7 possibly that we could also be getting a cult of ghost faces that are assembled of previous killers that we thought were dead in the franchise that are actually alive. I talked about this as well with Stu Mocker's cult being consisted of Angelina Tyler, the ghost face that we believe helped Roman Bridger in, in Scream 3, Charlie Walker. I talked about this before in a previous video and after seeing this clip of what I believe to be Roy Calkin as Charlie Walker walking past the Carpenter sisters, I think potentially in Scream 7, especially given how Scream 6 kind of laid the groundwork for a cult of ghost faces to be going after the Carpenter sisters and potentially Sidney Prescott if we get Nev to come back, I think this all but confirms that we are going to get a cult of ghost faces that will have a few returning ghost face killers that we thought were dead that were actually going to be alive and well and revealed in Scream 7. That is just my thought and my feelings after re-watching this clip that Ryan actually sent me from Scream 6. You will be the judge of what your eyes see and you will be the judge of your own assumptions. Me personally, I definitely do think that this is Roy Calkin as Charlie Walker walking past the Carpenter sisters and I can't wait to break this down even more as we move along especially if we get Scream 7 confirmed I can't wait to do more theories talking about this and talk about who Charlie might be affiliated with because I definitely have some ideas but okay everyone that is it for this video leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts do you guys believe that in the video that Ryan sent me that this is Roy Calkin reprising his role as Charlie Walker or do you think that this is him playing a civilian walking the streets of New York City or do you not think it's him at all as well as be sure to tune in 328-23 9.30pm Eastern Time for my Scream 6 recap live stream once again this is I SHOT HIM SIX TIMES YouTube Hard Movie Channel I'm your host and creator of the channel Marcus be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Patreon thank you all for watching